Hi, Adam Sweet here. I'm just going to continue in the scale series for the Mandola. Uh, and uh, the last one that I did was the D major scale. Um, the one I did previous to that was the C major scale. So if you have any questions about, you know, tips and tricks on where to put your fingers and, and it's a little bit about theory and so on, then go back and watch the first two uh, Mandola videos, uh, which will get you situated. Uh, because today I'm going to skip a lot of that extra stuff and just show you how to play the scale. So today we're going to do the E major scale on the mandola. So um, you want to start on the lowest E on the instrument, which is second finger on the fourth fret C string. Okay, so uh, E, F sharp is uh, third finger on the sixth fret C string, uh, G sharp, which is fourth finger on the eighth fret um, C string, uh, G sharp, A, first finger on the uh, second fret G string, uh, B, second finger on the fourth fret G string, C sharp, uh, third finger on the sixth fret G string, um, D sharp, fourth finger on the eighth fret G string, and E, first finger on the uh, second fret D string. Okay, I'm just going to show you one octave uh, today because typically um, you would have to shift up the uh, neck and I haven't showed you how to do that on the mandola yet so I'm just going to show you how to do that one uh, one octave typically you're gonna um, do two octaves whenever you practice a scale but uh, for right now we're just going to do the one octave and you can practice that and get used to all the stretches there are a lot of stretches on the mandola anyway and because E major has four sharps you're going to be using your fourth finger on the eighth fret a whole bunch of times and that takes getting used to. So let me show you that scale again real slow. Um, so, and then obviously when you practice uh, the scale, you go up and then you go back down. Um, and um, I just uh, have one um, little pointer about shifting up for that eighth fret with your fourth finger. Uh, what you do is you just do a little bit of a pivot from your wrist. It's, it's not very much, it's about half an inch or so. You kind of rotate your wrist and that allows you to uh, reach the eighth fret with your fourth finger. You always want to try to leave your fingers down as much as you can. But obviously if you're pivoting, it's kind of hard to leave your first finger down on the second fret, which is where it was. So it's okay to lift it up. Uh, did I say second? I meant first. Um, it's okay to lift your first finger up when you're pivoting, but when you pivot back, make sure you uh, anchor your first finger on the second fret, which is where it should go. If you have any questions, uh, I'll put the links to reach out to me uh, below, and I'm online all the time, so I'm happy to answer your question. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for watching this video.